Tobit chapter 9 The money recovered Then Tobias called Raphael and said to him Brother Azarias take a servant and two camels with you and go to Gabail at Regis in Media and get the money for me and bring him to the wedding feast for Raguel has sworn that I should not leave but my father is counting the days and if I delay long he will be greatly distressed so Raphael made the journey and stayed overnight with Gabail he gave him the receipt and Gabail brought out the money bags with their seals intact and gave them to him In the morning they both got up early and came to the wedding feast and Gabail blessed Tobias and his wife Tobit chapter 10 Anxiety of the parents Now his father Tobit was counting each day and when the days for the journey had expired and they did not arrive he said Is it possible that he has been detained or is it possible that Gabail has died and there is no one to give him the money and he was greatly distressed and his wife said to him the lad has perished his long delay proves it then she began to mourn for him and said Am I not distressed my child that I let you go you who are the light of my eyes but Tobit said to her be still and stop worrying he is well and she answered him be still and stop deceiving me my child has perished and she went out every day to the road by which they had left she ate nothing in the daytime and throughout the nights she never stopped mourning for her son tobias until the 14 days of the wedding feast had expired which raguel had sworn that he should spend there Tobias and Sarah start for home. At that time, Tobias said to Raguel, "Send me back, for my father and mother have given up hope of ever seeing me again." But his father-in-law said to him, "Stay with me, and I will send messengers to your father, and they will inform him how things are with you." Tobias replied, "No, send me back to my father." So, Raguel arose and gave him his wife Sarah and half of his property in slaves, cattle and money. And when he had blessed them, he sent them away saying, "The God of heaven will prosper you, my children, before I die." He said also to his daughter Honor your father-in-law and your mother-in-law They are now your parents Let me hear a good report of you And he kissed her And Edna sent to Tobias The Lord of heaven bring you back safely dear brother and grant me to see your children by my daughter Sarah that I may rejoice before the Lord see i am entrusting my daughter to you do nothing to grieve her tobit chapter 11 homeward journey after this tobias went on his way praising god because he had made his journey a success and he blessed Raguel and his wife Edna so he continued on his way until 
they came near to Nineveh. Then Raphael said to Tobias, Are you not away, brother, of how you left your father? Let us run ahead of your wife and prepare the house, and take the girl of the fish with you. So they went their way, and the dog went along behind them. Now Anna sat looking intently down the road for her son, and she caught sight of him coming, and said to his father, Behold, your son is coming, and so is the man who went with him. Tobit's sight restored. Raphael said, I know, Tobias, that your father will open his eyes. You therefore must anoint his eyes with the god, and when they smart, he will rub them, and will cause the white films to fall away, and he will see you. Then Anna ran to meet them, and embraced her son, and said to him, I have seen you, my child. Now I am ready to die. And they both wept. Tobit started toward the door and stumbled. But his son ran to him and took hold of his father. And he sprinkled the gall upon his father's eyes, saying, Be of good cheer, father. And when his eyes began to smart, he rubbed them and the white film scaled off from the corners of his eyes. Then he saw his son and embraced him, and he wept and said, Blessed art thou, O God, and blessed is thy name forever, and blessed are all thy holy angels. For thou hast afflicted me, but thou hast had mercy upon me. Here I see my son Tobias. And his son went in rejoicing, and he reported to his father the great things that had happened to him in Media. Then Tobit went out to meet his daughter-in-law at the gate of Nineveh, rejoicing and praising God. Those who saw him as he went were amazed because he could see. And Tobit gave thanks before them that God had been merciful to him. When Tobit came near to Sarah, his daughter-in-law, he blessed her, saying, Welcome, daughter. Blessed is God who has brought you to us, and blessed are your father and your mother. So, there was rejoicing among all his brethren in Nineveh. Ahikar and his nephew Nadab came, and Tobias' marriage was celebrated for seven days with great festivity. Tobit chapter 12 Raphael's Wages Tobit then called his son Tobias and said to him, My son, See to the wages of the man who went with you, and he must also be given more. He replied, Father, it would do me no harm to give him half of what I have brought back, for he has led me back to you safely. He cured my wife, he obtained the money for me, and he also healed you. The old man said, He deserves it. So he called the angel and said to him, Take half of all that you two have brought back. Raphael's Exhortation Then the angel called the two of them privately and said to them, Praise God and give thanks to him. Exalt him and give thanks to him in the presence of all the living for what he has done for you. 
It is good to praise God and to exalt his name worthily declaring the works of God Do not be slow to give him thanks It is good to God the secret of a king but gloriously to reveal the works of God Do good and evil not will not overtake you Prayer is good when accompanied by fasting, almsgiving and righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than much with wrong doing. It is better to give alms than to treasure up food. For almsgiving delivers from death and it will purge away every sin. Those who perform deeds of charity and of righteousness will have fullness of life. But those who commit sin are the enemies of their own lives. Raphael discloses his identity. I will not conceal anything from you. I have said It is good to guard the secret of a king but gloriously to reveal the works of God and so when you and your daughter-in-law Sarah prayed I brought a reminder of your prayer before the holy one and when you buried the dead I was likewise present with you when you did not hesitate to rise and leave your dinner in order to go and lay out the dead your good deed was not hidden from me but i was with you so now god sent me to heal you and your daughter in law sarah i am raphael one of the seven holy angels who present the prayers of the saints and enter into the presence of the glory of the holy one they both were alarmed and they fell upon their faces for they were afraid but he said to them do not be afraid you will be safe but praise god forever for i did not come as a favor on my part but by the will of our god therefore praise him forever all these days i merely appeared to you and did not eat or drink but you were seeing a vision and now give thanks to god for i am ascending to him who sent me write in a book everything that has happened then they stood up but they saw him no more so they confessed the great and wonderful works of god and acknowledged that the angel of the lord had appeared to them tobit chapter 13 tobit's thanksgiving to god then tobit wrote a prayer of rejoicing and said blessed is god who lives forever and blessed is his kingdom for he afflicts and he shows mercy he leads down to hades and brings up again and there is no one who can escape his hand acknowledge him before the nations o sons of israel for he has scattered us among them make his greatness known there and exalt him in the presence of all the living because he is our lord and god he is our father forever he will afflict us for our iniquities and again he will show mercy and will gather us from all the nations among whom you have been scattered If you turn to him with all your heart and with all your soul to do what is true before him then he will turn to you 
and will not hide his face from you. But see what he will do with you. Give thanks to him with your full voice. Praise the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of the ages. I give him thanks in the land of my captivity and I show his power and majesty to a nation of sinners. Turn back, you sinners, and do right before him. Who knows if he will accept you and have mercy on you. I exalt my God. My soul exalts the King of Heaven and will rejoice in His majesty. Let all men speak and give Him thanks in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, the holy city, He will afflict you for the deeds of your sons, but again He will show mercy to the sons of the righteous. Give thanks worthily to the Lord and praise the King of the ages that His tent may be raised for you again with joy. May He cheer those within you who are captives and love those within you who are distressed to all generations forever. Many nations will come from afar to the name of the Lord God bearing gifts in their hands, gifts for the King of Heaven. Generations of generations will give you joyful praise. Cursed are all who hate you. Blessed forever will be all who love you. Rejoice and be glad for the sons of the righteous, for they will be gathered together and will praise the Lord of the righteous. How blessed are those who love you! They will rejoice in your peace. Blessed are those who grieve over all your afflictions, for they will rejoice for you upon seeing all your glory, and they will be made glad forever. Let my soul praise God the great King, for Jerusalem will be built with sapphires and emeralds, her walls with precious stones, and her towers and battlements with pure gold. The streets of Jerusalem will be paved with beryl and ruby and stones of offer. All her lanes will cry, Hallelujah, and will give praise, saying, Blessed is God, who has exalted you forever. Tobit chapter 14 Tobit's final counsel Here, Tobit ended his words of praise. He was 58 years old when he lost his sight and after 8 years he regained it. He gave alms and he continued to fear the Lord God and to praise Him. When he had grown very old, he called his son and grandsons and said to him, My son, take your sons. Behold, I have grown old and am about to depart this life. Go to Media, my son, for I fully believe what Jonah the prophet said about Nineveh, that it will be overthrown. But in Media, there will be peace for a time. Our brethren will be scattered over the earth from the good land and Jerusalem will be decimated. The house of God in it will be burned down and will be in ruins for a time. But God will again have mercy on them and bring them back into their land and they will rebuild the house of God, though it will not be like the former one until the times of the age are completed. After this, 
they will return from the places of their captivity and will rebuild Jerusalem in splendor and the house of God will be rebuilt there with a glorious building for all generations forever just as the prophets said of it then all the gentiles will turn to fear the Lord God in truth and will bury their idols all the gentiles will praise the Lord and his people will give thanks to God and the Lord will exalt his people and all who love the Lord God in truth and righteousness will rejoice showing mercy to our brethren so now my son leave Nineveh because what the prophet Jonah said will surely happen but keep the law and the commandments and be merciful and just so that it may be well with you bury me properly and your mother with me and do not live in Nineveh any longer see my son what Nadab did to Ahikar who had reared him how he brought him from light into darkness and with what he repaid him but ahika was saved and the other received repayment as he himself went down into the darkness ahika gave arms and escaped the death trap which nadab had set for him but nadab fell into the trap and perished So now my children consider what arms giving accomplishes and how righteousness delivers As he said this he died in his bed He was 158 years old and Tobias gave him a magnificent funeral And when Anna died he buried her with his father Death of Tobit and Anna. Then Tobias returned with his wife and his sons to Ekbatana to Raguel, his father-in-law. He grew old with honor, and he gave his father-in-law and mother-in-law magnificent funerals. He inherited their property and that of his father Tobit. He died in Ekbatana of Media at the age of 127 years. But before he died, he heard of the destruction of Nineveh, which Nebuchadnezzar and Ahasuerus had captured. Before his death, he rejoiced over Nineveh.